Okay, I'm going to give you some tips for playing Siguri better and so that you can beat the game. Okay, what I'm doing right here is I'm just um, dashing against the wall so I can charge up. Um, because it doesn't really matter if uh, you know I kill those guys quickly or not. And I'm doing the same thing right here. I don't really have to do it, but the whole point is that you know you can just um, kind of take it easy and not like stress yourself out until like later on. You want to have your reflexes, um, you know, be really relaxed and fresh when you have to fight the bosses. So you don't even like you know dash like crazy and uh, stress out over these minor guys. Yeah, and don't hesitate to like use a hyper because um, if you're doing what what I'm doing and you're charging like like every time you see the beams, you know, by dashing through them, uh, you're gonna have lots of hypers, so it's not a big deal. The first level is actually pretty easy because uh, you know there's all these free hits, um, and there's lots of beam uh, particles and not so many missiles, so. You could just dash uh, pretty much through the whole level if you want to, and just use hypers if you want to be the boss or something. You were really good. So okay, this is the mini boss, and uh, you notice I'm kind of uh, positioning myself like like at the bottom right now, or, uh, and then when the missiles come, I move to the side or whatever that kind of thing. And, and then I'm also dashing through the red. You see the red? Um, I'm kind of uh, following the spiral, and, and every time I do that, I get a charge and then I can just use the hyper uh, whenever I want and the hyper shields you so you're totally secure I'm doing the same thing here and I'm and I don't like um, for the most part I, I don't like um, take a regular shot unless I know I'm in the clear uh, I, I did a second ago and, and that's why I lost a bunch of health but um yeah, you can totally beat this boss without taking any damage if uh, you were more careful. Yeah, and, and so when you see a bunch of those, um... Okay, here we go. Yeah, you can tell I kind of like know this level a little bit. So what I was going to say is, you can, um... Can, you can just dash back and forth through those uh, yellow things, or you can go against the wall and they all charge you. You won't get like a high score or anything, but who cares? Okay, here's Saki. Try to stand below Saki when she shoots those little bottle things, because it, it's just easier to uh, dodge them and destroy them. Anyways, uh, whenever you see those beam things, try to like dash side to side a little bit so you can collect um, some energy. That, that's what you see me doing. I'm I'm following the the light. You know, I'm following the the rays. Um. And then she has those homing things, so you have to be careful and you know keep an eye on those. Um, yeah, basically, whenever you see those missiles coming at you, you know, I mean, um, if uh, if you can't clear them out and you don't think that you're going to be able to dodge them, which is often the case, just use a hybrid. Yeah, seriously. Uh, treat the hyper more like a shield than uh, as a weapon, you know? Um, and the, you, that's a general principle in this game. Like, oftentimes when the enemy, like, uses a hyper against you and you, and you know you're probably going to die or take a lot of damage, if you use a hyper you're, you'll be fine, you know? It doesn't really even matter if it hits or not. The whole point is to try and negate the damage. Okay, so that's that. I kind of sped it up near the end because I was losing a bit of health, so I could have, you know, I could have messed up and I could have died there if um, I didn't get a little bit more frantic.